You need a 30% alcohol solution. On hand, you have a 315 milliliter of 5% alcohol mixture, and you also have 65% alcohol mixture. So you're going to mix them together. You need to know how much of the 65% you need to add in order to bring that 5% mixture up to 30%. So <clears throat> I like to organize these in a table. You'll need four columns and three rows. <clears throat> so our um, rows will be the 30%. 65, or no, I put that in the wrong spot, erase. We do want the 30%, but not there. We're going to put um, the 5%, the two things that we're mixing, 5% and the 65% are the ones that you're mixing, and the desired outcome is the 30%. And then up in the um, names of the top of the columns, um, you're going to have the concentration, I can't really fit that word in there, <laughs> in the amount, and that'll give you um, the percent, or the, the amount of alcohol. Um, So alcohol and milliliters. Because the amount that you have now um, is a solution. So part of it, you know, actually 5% of it is alcohol and the rest is um, water. But when you multiply the concentration times the amount, it'll tell you how much alcohol you actually have. Um, so you have 315 milliliters of the 5%. We don't know how much of the 65% we need to add, but in the end, if you add those together, you'll have 315 plus X. The amount you add of the 5% to the amount of the 65%, add it together, that's your total amount. Uh, concentration, you just want to convert them to decimal, so 0 0.05, 0 0.65, and 0 0.30. So it's 5% of some amount. Of in math generally means multiplication. So to get the um, amount of pure alcohol, you multiply those two together. So 0 0.05 times 315, or 0 0.65 times x and 0 0.3 times 315 plus x. In this last column here, this is giving you your equation because you're going to add the alcohol from the one solution to the alcohol in the other solution and you'll it'll equal the amount that you wanted. You wanted um, you wanted 30% alcohol. So, we have uh, an equation now. I'm going to minimize this so we can write our equation down. It's 0 0.05 times 315 plus 0.65x equals 0.3 times 315 plus x. Let me jot that down so I can change screens. Okay, I got it. All right, let's get a new. I'm gonna write the equation down again. 0.05 times 315 plus 0.65x equals 0.3. I don't like the way I put that point. All right, point three times three fifteen plus x. 
Well, 0.05 times 315 can simply be multiplied together, and uh, we'd get 15.75. Can't really do anything with the 0.65x at this point. And then on the right, you're going to distribute. And you'll get 94.5 plus 0.3x. All right, I'm going to get all my variables on the same side. So subtract 0.3x. Bring down 15.75. It's going to be plus 0.35x equals 94.5. Then we'll subtract the 15.75 to get our variable by itself. And we get 0.35x equals 78.75. Finally, we divide both sides by 0.35. And we get 225. So x um, represented how much of the 65% we were supposed to put in. Um, so remember, oops, pushing the wrong thing. Um, so it's going to be 225 milliliters of the 65%. And then it asks how much of the 30%, um, the desired outcome. Well, we already have 315 milliliters of the solution, and then we're adding another 225. So this is of the um, 5%. And we're adding 225 milliliters of the 65%. So in total, the milliliters is 540 of the 30%. And that's it.